Hey guys, uh, real quick, just wanted to show you some more tools that are free to use and pretty useful for screencasts and finding GMBs, doing downhill prospecting, um, doing doing prospecting audits for people if you're doing more advanced audits for their GMBs, as well as sending SEO reports. So the first one is uh, this geolocation changer. Uh, I've been using this one for a long time. It's really useful. You just click on it, choose the location you want, and then click enable overwrite. So uh, let me just show you before. So I'm in Gilbert right now. And so if I search for tree service, then it's going to show me Gilbert related tree service. Um, or, you know, roofer near me or whatever. And so the most accurate results are around me. Um, but if I switch, if I'm trying to um, maybe shoot a screencast for somebody and they're um, GMB isn't showing up because there's a similar business name near me uh, and there, so you have to switch the location and then search their business name in order to find it. And so that happens a lot. Also if you want to just check more general keywords, see who's ranking for them, um, then this location changer comes in handy at that time as well. So I'll turn that off again. Uh, so that's free and it's on the Chrome store. It's a plugin. Um, but I'll send a link for that as well. And then the next one is um, My Happy Business. This one's kind of cool too. Um, it's not as cool as this next one I'll show you, but I still thought I might as well show it because it's free and you guys might find some other uses for it. Uh, so what it is, it's it's a it's similar to this, um, except for it does it in multiple locations all at once. So say I want to do a Google search for uh, tree service or lawn care or something like that. I put in the address of my GMB. Uh, so this is one of my old clients. I mean, they're, they're still a client. Just, um, he's just one of the ones that I was charging hardly any money because he was one of my clients from a long time ago. So let's see if he's still ranking in the top for the tree service. Yep, he is, number one. So you can check. Uh, you can tell right next to him he's ranked number one. So then let's try a little further away. He's also ranked number one. And you can also check their ranking for the uh, website too. Looks like we're ranked number six in, on the uh, the organic. But we're ranked number one. And then you can check whatever keywords you want. You know, I could try lawn care and search for that. And then, you know, the further out, usually the, the worse the rankings are. Oh, it's still ranking pretty well. But, but anyways, um, that's another nice tool. But the only problem with this is you have to manually click on each one of these things to find your rankings, but it can be useful still. You know, if you're not in the top three, you just have to click here and scroll down to find where you are. Uh, so that's where this tool comes in handy, uh, surferlocal.com. It's pretty much like a free version of um, Local Viking or Local Falcon, which a lot of people use to send uh, GeoGrid reports regularly, which if you're a larger agency and you can afford to do that, then definitely do it. It's worth the money. Um, but if you're just starting out, then it's totally worth it to uh, use this for prospecting. You know, people can say, oh, I want to know where I am ranking for this specific keyword and their GMB. You can run an audit like this. Um, so you just put in your business, I think. Lawn works. It's been a long time since I've used this, actually. Lawn works. Georgetown. So, yep, you just put in the business, and then I put also had to put in Georgetown because there's lots of other lawn works in the world. And then you put in whatever uh, keyword you're trying to search for. So, I already did tree service and lawn care, so maybe I'll do landscaping or something like that. And then you can click next. You can click multiple if you want. And it will do an audit to show your average position for that specific keyword. So, it looks like I'm not ranking very well for landscaping. Or, actually, the data is not being all finished yet. Oh, I am ranking pretty well. And then it shows you how you are compared to the other uh, competitors so that you can try to copy what they're doing to rank. So if you see that your competitors that are ranked above you, like this guy, I guess, he's ranking higher than I am. His average position is 1.2. My average position for this keyword is 3.4. So I could check out this guy and I could audit his business and see 
oh, what, what do I need to do to become that? What, how many posts do I need to do a week? How many more citations do I need to do? What other SEO can I do to try to take over that top spot for that keyword? My, my, my guy actually doesn't care about landscaping jobs. He only wants tree service jobs, even though his name's Lawn Work. So I'm not going to work on this. But, um, but yeah, so this is really useful. It, it's not as pretty as those cool square grids that they do, but I think it's still relevant. And it gives a big enough radius that it's nice for free. And you can send this report um, to people saying like, hey, you said you had really good SEO, but actually your GMB isn't ranking for any of the keywords that you mentioned you wanted to be ranking for. So there's still a lot of room for improvement. And it works for prospecting as well as SEO reporting. Uh, so yeah, those are some free alternatives for tools. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm not an expert at them because this one's pretty new. It hasn't been out for super long. Um, but I can give you tips if you need.